नमस्ते माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मिसेस प्रीति सुनील जोशी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन ऑफ लेजर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर लाइट एम्पलीफिकेशन एंड हाउ टू मीट दिस रिक्वायरमेंट्स लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू स्टेट why light amplification is required and what are the necessities to meet this these are the contents of this session students in last session we have seen that the light amplification requires the stimulated emissions occur almost exclusively so we come to the conclusion that light amplification can take place only through stimulated emission so the question now is how the number of stimulated emissions can be made larger let us now look at the conditions under which the number of stimulated transitions can be made larger than the other two transition let us see one by one so firstly we will see how the stimulated emission can dominate absorption transitions for absorption transitions the atoms are present in the lower energy state such atoms absorb the energy and jump to the higher energy state so we can say that the stimulated transitions will overcome the absorption process if more number of atoms are present in the higher energy state is it correct now if more number of atoms are present in the higher energy state then what will happen yes the atoms will readily undergo the spontaneous emission and will be in the lower energy state then again under such conditions how the stimulated emissions will take place so now what we require students yes to increase the probability of stimulated emissions the lifetime of the atoms at the excited state should be larger now let us see what should be done to dominate the spontaneous emission spontaneous emission does not require external energy if more number of photons are present it will surely dominate the spontaneous emission thus the presence of large number of photons in the medium is required yes are you getting students however it will lead to more absorption transitions hence large photon density alone will not guarantee more stimulated emissions so students from all this discussion we can say that for stimulated emission to occur exclusively first requirement is that there should be more number of atoms present in the higher energy level than in the lower energy level then next requirement is lifetime of such atoms should be more that is they should be in that state for more time and the third requirement is large number of photons should be present in the medium correct students and if all these conditions are met then and then only the light amplification takes place now students we will see how these requirements can be met therefore to achieve high percentage of stimulated emission an artificial situation known as population inversion is to be created in a medium let us see this in detail when the material is in thermal equilibrium condition means what that is the population n2 at the excited level e2 will be far smaller than the population n1 at the level e1 now students what do you understand by population population means it simply represents the number of atoms present in the particular energy state 
so here we have considered n2 be the population of energy level e2 and n1 be the population of energy level e1 so the condition in which there are more number of atoms in the lower energy level and relatively lesser number of atoms in the higher energy level is called the normal state or we call it as equilibrium state thus under thermal equilibrium condition n1 is far greater than n2 now to achieve the first condition more number of atoms must be present in the excited state hence population inversion that is a non equilibrium state is created and that exists for a short time that is n2 will be made far greater than n1 in this condition the population distribution between the levels e1 and e2 is inverted and hence it is known as the inverted state this is a non equilibrium state and exists only for a short time population inversion is obtained by employing pumping techniques which transfer large number of photons from lower energy level to higher energy level pumping is the process of supplying energy to raise continuously the atoms in the lower energy state to upper energy state it requires energy to be supplied to the system so the definition of population inversion can be stated as this is the condition of material in which the population of upper energy level n2 far exceeds the population of the lower energy level n1 the students first requirement of more number of atoms in the excited state can be achieved by population inversion now an atom can be excited to a higher level by supplying energy to it generally excited atoms have a very short life times and and spontaneously give out their energy in a few nanoseconds thus atoms do not stay for a long enough time at the excited level even though the pumping agent continuously raises the atoms to the excited level they undergo spontaneous transitions and quickly return to the lower energy level population inversion cannot be attained under such circumstances so in order to achieve the condition of population inversion the excited atoms are to be made to wait at the upper energy level without undergoing the spontaneous transition till a huge number of atoms built at that level so students let us see here what happens in order to achieve the condition of population inversion the excited atoms are to be made to wait at the upper energy level without undergoing the spontaneous transition till a huge number of atoms build up at that level so such an opportunity would be provided by metastable state thus metastable state is an excited state of atoms where the atoms remain excited for an appreciable time which is of the order of 10 to the minus 6 to 10 to the minus 3 seconds this is 10 to the 3 to 10 to the 6 times the lifetime of the ordinary excited energy levels therefore the metastable state allows accumulation of large number of excited atoms at that level and it would be impossible to create the state of population inversion without a metastable state yes students please keep in mind it is impossible to create the state of population inversion without a metastable state metastable state can be readily obtained in a crystal system obtaining impurity atoms 
these levels lie in the forbidden band gap of the host crystal population inversion readily takes place as the lifetimes of these levels are large but secondly there is no competition in filling these levels as they are localized levels but students keep in mind there could be no population inversion and hence no laser action if metastable states do not exist so students the second requirement of more lifetime of excited atoms can be achieved by metastable state now the third requirement is of more photon density more photon density is required to be present in the active medium so that stimulated emission dominates spontaneous emission if laser medium is enclosed in between a pair of optically plane parallel mirrors photon density builds up to a very high value through repeated reflections of photons which remain within the medium such an arrangement is known as optical resonant cavity or optical resonator so students in this session we have seen why amplification of light is required and how to achieve the amplification of light now in the next session we will see the different components of laser thank you